What is up, you you beautiful morons? Um, so happy to be here talking to you guys today, Schwing Dynasty. Um, ready to give you guys the pick of the week. I have exactly one piece of paper with notes on it today because I'm not really doing full analysis. I am picking winners and losers, and I'm comparing you guys, um, making fun of you guys by comparing you to a dessert. Um, everyone gets a dessert today. You might not like your dessert, but you get a dessert, and you'll eat it, and you'll be happy with it. Um, I'm going to compare you guys to a dessert. I'm going to pick the winner, and that'll be that. Not a whole bunch of analysis today uh, or anymore. I mean, if you guys want that, I need to hear I need to hear it because the longer videos I felt like maybe people weren't as into anymore and like, ah, hear an analysis of each game. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I assumed I pictured you guys uh, sitting in your lonely, um, lonely little worlds and just fast forwarding until you got to the part where, where the, the nice man on the camera talks about you. That's always very exciting for us to have the nice man on the camera talk about you. Um, I, uh, yeah, it's been a week. I kind of explained it. It has been a week. God, I look haggard as shit right now. Um, need to shave, but I've, I'm kind of been growing this out until I won a matchup in this one league I'm in. I did win last weekend. And then I realized that my, my beard trimmer, the, my cat had chewed through the charging cord for it. So I was ordering a new one. Um, anyways, so I got to shave. Uh, getting the gray beard for sure coming in big time. Um, miss you guys. Uh, I haven't seen like any of you in so long. I saw Adam recently. Uh, might see him again soon here. Um, might try to be coming up to, to Portland. I don't know, really know. I've got so much to do down in Southern Oregon. I'd love to come up and get some things that I need and drop some stuff off with people who I need to drop stuff off to. But I know Mark is coming back soon for the World Cup. Um, that's exciting. Definitely want to see him when that happens. Uh, but anyways, here we are, week four. Um, no, I, you know, I'm not even doing analysis because I know that the Thursday night game happened. It definitely affected some of the games. Um, and so I'm just going to compare you guys to a dessert. Uh, this isn't like, oh, he's the best dessert or he's the worst dessert. Uh, there's definitely a couple of things like that. But this is um, more of like your personality and your team's personality and sort of the history of your franchise. Uh, compared to a dessert. So first game I'm looking at is me versus Phil. Uh, I'm two and one. He's one and two. Um, I, for myself, for my dessert, I picked tiramisu. And here's why. The very first time I had tiramisu uh, was actually in in Italy. And it was prepared very well. And it was delicious. I, I It was so good. Um, I loved it. That first season of the swing, wonderful for me. Championship season. Um, but every time I've had it since then, it's just never as good. Never has been as good. When it's good, it's so good. Uh, but when it's bad, it's like soggy. It's it's falling apart. Uh, and that's my team. Soggy and falling apart a lot of seasons. So I'm tiramisu. It always looks like it's about to be good. But, you know, it misses the mark too much. And so uh, that's what I picked for myself. Uh, Phil? Phil? This you brought this on yourself a little bit. Um, Phil made the early declaration about how lonely it was at the top of the standings, and now he's one and two. Uh, lost the two games after that, including the game he said that during. Um, so he has that's one of the hottest DoorDash deliverers I have ever seen in my life. Delivering food to my friend Mo outside. Um, Phil is one and two. Declared himself the the immaculate, the champion, the you know lonely at the top. Um, Phil is banana bread with hidden walnuts. Uh, it's it, yeah, he was so certain of his own goodness, not knowing that he was actually full of walnuts. And no one wants that. No one wants those hidden walnuts. Get that trash out of my banana bread. Not necessary. Not good. Adds nothing. Maybe you think it adds health. I don't know why you do it. If any of you guys like it, just shame on you. Um, but that's that's Phil. Should have been, looked good. Looked like he was off to a good start. Um, declared himself being great. Filled with walnuts. All right. I got myself winning. I'm projected to win right now by about 20 points. I got myself winning in uh, the matchup between me and Phil. A butt guys matchup. All right. Next game we're going to look at. 3-0 Burt. 0-3 Lucas. Um... Bert, your 
dessert. I, this was a tough one for me. And I had, I went and I asked a few people, I was like, what dessert always is good? You always, it's always good. You always like it. Or what sweet is always good, but it's never like number one. Okay. It's never been number one. It's never finished number one in your rankings. It always looks like it's so good, but you always have another one that you'll choose over it. And what came back to me, some a few people mentioned this. I was like, oh, that's a great one, is the chocolate-covered pretzel. You could go with yogurt here if you wanted, if you want yogurt-covered pretzels. Um, Bert, you are the chocolate-covered pretzels. They're so delicious. I love chocolate-covered pretzels. I happily crush some chocolate-covered pretzels. Um, but they're never number one. They're never like, oh, it pretty much any, any time it's like time to pick desserts they're never going to be the one that I choose over something else. Um, and that's, that's Bert so far. Always good. Never have, hasn't reached that summit yet. And that's why he is the chocolate covered pretzel. It's good. Everyone likes them. If you don't like them, refer to my comment about walnuts. Okay. Uh, Lucas Owen three, you are dum dums. Um, when I was a kid, I thought they were the most delicious thing and they're so exciting. There's all these little things you got to choose. You used to have like you know, all these exciting players, Calvin Ridley and Christian McCaffrey. And um, it's just like, it was very exciting uh, to look at your team. Um, uh, these, but Dum Dums uh, are free everywhere. Okay. So they're, they're not something that are, you know, no one's trying to come after them. Um, you can get them pretty much for free everywhere you go. Uh, I used to think they're awesome. And now it's just like, okay, kind of, you know, kind of old. Uh, not not super into the dum dums uh, anymore, and that's kind of where Lucas has ended up right now at 013. He's a dum dum. Uh, you can choose your flavor of dum dum. If you go cream soda, you're smart. Um, next up, uh, we've oh I've got Bert winning that game somewhat easily. Although projections are close, but Lucas's projections always seem again that bowl of dum dums looks great. It looks great. Um, next game is Navy fanboy for life, aka JD, <clears throat> against uh, Mark. A Doha battle, the, the residing members of the once uh, once great Doha contingent of our league. Um, kind of a surprising one I, I settled on for JD. And you're probably going to think, like, this is too good for JD's team. But I'll explain it. Uh, JD is cupcakes. Okay, cupcakes are great. Everyone, you know, they're fine, whatever. Um, they can be dry. They're not that. But the thing is, cupcakes were, like, it's just the same. Cupcakes have been... It's just this little cupcake, and it's nothing special. But, and this is something I've been noticing, cupcakes got a refresher a few years ago. All of a sudden, people were like chocolate ganache and making little buttercream inserts or whatever the fuck they did with cupcakes where all of a sudden they were full of like all this flavor. I've been noticing all these little these little things. JD's team, getting younger, uh, it's rolling out some young players, uh, not as tired and stale as they used to be. Um, he's, he's revamping. I like it. He, it hasn't gotten there yet. Not a full turnaround, um, for his team, but I like the new additions. Uh, it's, it's, it's some building blocks. Um, I'm sitting next to a giant stack of cupcakes right now for a birthday party and I don't want any of them. They just literally look, I don't know, frosting looks gross, but it's not these modern deli bakery things that are putting all this good stuff in them so and jd's team starting to get a couple of those fillings starting to get a couple little ganaches on there some weird sprinkles mixer weird flavors um i like it i like it uh he's playing mark and mark uh i'm gonna go with uh he's my mom's fruit cake um it's not great it's better than a lot of fruit cakes but it's it's still kind of weird uh but it's soaked in booze just like mark just soaked in alcohol and it's fun at the holidays it's fun to have it, it yeah it's like this tradition you got to have mark around you got to have fruit cake um sometimes it's like you know sometimes it surprises you it's like that's a pretty good bite um it's kind of filled with all the same stuff but um you know he used to be all seahawks that's his hand's been forced in that it's not anymore so uh, you know, it's, it's okay. And it's, and it's drunk as hell. And that's, um, that's what, that's Mark. That's Mark. If you know him, um, you'd be happy to know him, especially at the holidays. It's a great time. Great time of the holidays. Um, then, you know, by January, you're like, okay, buddy, time to, time to go. Um, 
Daryl versus Sean is oh I've got a I've got Mark winning that game I do have Mark winning that game right now I've got a three and one um, but I, I, it's yeah I do I do like some of the young pieces on on JD's team there starting to put some draft picks together he actually had some draft picks that helps having draft picks um, all right Daryl versus Sean one and two Daryl versus three and zero oh Sean a repeat of last year's championship game. Um, Daryl, your dessert is the lemon meringue pie. Um, it's half great, half awful. Uh, the lemon curd stuff at the bottom, whatever, whatever the fuck, whatever people do, that it stuff is great. I love it. That meringue, get that out of my life. Is what is it? It's, ugh, it's foam. It's nasty. Meringue is terrible. Um, that, that kind of reminds me of Daryl's team. Like, he can just blow everyone out of the water. His scores can be like 220. The next week, it's 120. So, half great, half terrible. The lemon meringue pie. Welcome to that world, Daryl. Um, Sean, I'm not giving you a good dessert. I refuse to. I don't want this. I don't want this in my world. So, I'm giving you a dessert that a lot of people disagree with me about. That I think is gross and awful and i hate it i hate it um but a lot of people seem to like it and think it's really good and that's flan i cannot stand this whatever pudding garbage milk sugar thing this is uh, but so many people seem to think it's really awesome and cool and like like they like flan more than me uh and it's, they're wrong they're wrong about that so that's that's Sean. He's flan, Sean the flan, um, and it also should be pronounced flan, just so you guys know. Flandemic. Um, Daryl's gonna win because Sean's team will come down with, and I looked this up. This is real. A case of fecal vomiting, where there's some sort of a blockage that stops the poop from getting through, or there's a bizarre, um, rare occurrence where there's a direct link from the stomach to the colon and you can throw up poop. And that's Sean's team, his poop thrower uppers. They're fecal vomiters. And that will cause Daryl to win the game. Go lemon. Not meringue this week, Daryl. Be lemon. Focus lemon, not meringue. All right. So I've got Daryl winning. Um, next game, Adam versus Steve. Adam's team... Um, I couldn't think of one. I, this was another tough one. And I finally settled on one that was sufficiently bad, but still sometimes makes an appearance. And that's jello molds. I don't care if you put those little lima beans or vegetables or fruit floating in there, got some whipped cream on top. It's jello. It's not good. It's for sick people. But still, it shows up. It shows up. And sometimes it shows up. Just in time for the holidays, just like Adam Seen last year, making the playoffs. Um, right now he's 0-3, right where Jello molds should be. Um, so Adam, you're Jello molds. Steve, you are vanilla ice cream. Um, nothing wrong with vanilla ice cream. It's always been here, it always will be here. It is the base of so many good things. It is. I like vanilla ice cream. I think it's it's one of my favorite ice creams, weirdly enough. Um Nothing too exciting. Derrick Henry just rumbling, you know. Uh, but it's been a champion. It has. Vanilla ice cream is part of championships. You do not get a lot of other good desserts without a big scoop of vanilla ice cream right on top. He's that top. And he was one year. But when it comes down to it, um, there's not there's not a ton going on there, but it's 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 good it's good and it's important, um, and that's 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 Steve in our hearts in our league, in his team, and I've got Adam beating him this week actually, uh, yeah the projections holding up with my idea too is that uh, Adam's gonna beat Sean this week or Steve this week, um, until his team starts playing, and once his team starts playing it's just Jello. Jello v vanilla ice cream this week. Tune in, tune in for that matchup. Um, we all know vanilla ice cream should win, but there's there's Jello molds. There they are. All right, guys, that's it.
15 minutes trying to that's a little bit longer than i thought this would take uh i had fun with it though that's my analysis screw you guys for not thinking it's very good peace out